See, here's Black Arachnia, along with the Divacons, and Makoto Ishikawa. I'm looking for Chris Kennedy! Where is she? Oh, she's not in that pile! I don't care! Mm, would you stop with Chris Kennedy? I, st I still say you have a crush on her. I do not have a crush! I respect greatness! Get these cabronies out of here! Yeah, well anyway, let's hear what they have to say. Well, I guess finally we heard what they have to say, because Black Arachnia has challenged Penny Stokes to a tag match, because she and Makoto Ishikawa will be going up against Penny and her mystery tag team partner. Really? Because I just saw a bunch of words on my screen. This is not subtitling. We are not for the death. Well, anyway. Anyway, here be the Jinx twins, Molly and Holly Jinx. They will be going, well, actually it's not a tag match. It's going to be a singles match gonna be I think Molly or Holly Jinx going up against Envy. I'm still wondering what I'm supposed to care because there's no Chris Kennedy. Oh yeah now I get it. The one in red is Molly and the one in blue is Holly. So it's gonna be Molly going up against Envy. Huh. But anyway the Divacons in a way are gonna try their very best to bring the MWE Women's Championship to the Divacons. Actually, it's Black Arachnia wants to try to do that. And she believes with the help of Makoto Ishikawa, they might be able to accomplish that very goal. Yeah, you're starting to bore me. I think you should just walk away right now. Let me take the rest of the show so that I can bring Chris Kennedy on so we can save the company. Let's save the company. Yes, we are here to save Save MWE! We are going to change it just like TNA changed the impact! Just like we're gonna call it the Chris Kennedy Ike Show! With your host, the Patriot! The All-American American American! Yeah, and like TNA, there won't be that much of views. Hey, it's not our fault that you guys stink so much, that's why we're here to improve it! Yeah, improve improve it by by being um, I don't know. Annoying and obnoxious. What are you talking about annoying and obnoxious? I'm not loud! I'm not I'm not a loud mouth, I speak the truth! Yeah, by insulting some immigrants. Yes, because they are illegal! They are too lazy to get their green card! I I mean no want to get no uh, the green card! I, I can't get the green card! I'm too lazy! I go hop over the border! Screw and, them! Well anyway, Indy with a missile drop kick on the Molly Jinx. Mo Molly Jinx is in big trouble going up against Envy but she's trying to hold her own with that um, running crossbody on Envy but Envy however once again going for a Ludez press on one of the Jinx twins I know Molly not Molly but Holly Jinx is not lacking this one bit but she knows her yeah well it's Molly Jinx Molly and Holly Jinx 
Once again, Envy trying to go for a SIG or a finisher, but was denied access to that by by a Molly or my Molly Jinx. It's hard for me to tell the difference between who's Molly and who's Holly Jinx. It's hard for me to tell the difference between Japanese wrestler number seven and useless MWE diva number nine. Well, first off, first off, Molly Jinx isn't Japanese, nor is um nor is Envy. Nor are they Chris Kennedy. So they don't matter. I don't know about that. But dang, both of these ladies are putting in a great effort. I guess in a way, both of them are gonna try to put in put in their finishers. Ooh, one of them just did. Molly Jinx with the Jinx DDT. But I guess Envy in no way is gonna let Molly get the win or get the pin. But look, but look at, but look at um Molly showing off when she's supposed to be putting in some offensiveness on Indy, which gives her the opportunity to rest up and put in that missile drop kick. And Patriot, you better not be taking a nap. Oh, what, what? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. He wasn't paying attention. How can you how can you say that? How can how can you say that when you're pretending that you're napping through this entire match? Tell you Ooh, what. Not bad of a senton by Molly Jinx. A match excluding Chris Kennedy really give, it cures insomnia. Mm. No, really. You need to stop with the with the whole Chris Kennedy thing. I know you sort of have a um a wifey poo named um the Patriotist. But but you but you but you can admit to me and the rest of the MWE fans that you have a crush on Christy Icon Kennedy. This is not a crush. This is respecting the greatness that is in front of my television screen. Greatness, greatness. You're right. But name me one flaw in Chris Kennedy, and I'll give you a piece of candy. Oh, I don't know about candy, but what, but what, I, but what I can say about Chris Kennedy is that. That besides the fact that she that she's very athletic and that she is a former MWE Women's Champion, what I hate the fact is her attitude. There is nothing wrong with her attitude. She is a nice, honest person. If she's so honest, why did she attack Penny Stokes after the title match at Final, not Final Apex, but Destiny Road? If she, if she's um. A nice person. Why does she attack D Hollywood after after the match at um, Destiny Road as well? Both are whores. Both are useless. End of story. First off, D Hollywood is not useless. Penny Stokes is not useless. They're both very talented MWE divas, and and really, I wish D Hollywood would come back to MWE so she can get her revenge on Chris Kennedy. But the thing is, but the thing is. Chris Kennedy might be um, fabricating her story a bit, saying that she was the one who attacked D Hollywood when we have no idea who it was. And and also, Chris Kennedy wasn't even in the building at the time that attack happened. Hey, Mudatron, I see a little bit of sh uh, poop coming out of your mouth. It's right on your chin, right there. You know, you might want to wipe that off. That's all I don't know about that, but regardless, referee, better stop running. Oh, Molly Jinx, not Molly, but Holly Jinx is um talking to the referee and now Envy trying trying to get her hands on on Holly but to no avail. And again Holly Jinx distracting the referee. Ooh crap. Molly inadvertently hit Holly. You know, Phoenix Blacksmith, for some particular reason, suggested suggested um, an opponent for you whenever MWE Clash goes up and running again. Ooh, who's the illegal immigrant that wants to face me this time? Well, I don't think he's an illegal immigrant or whatever, but I forgot what his name was. But anyway, we have counted one, two, and gets the three. Molly Jinx gets the win over Envy. I'm very impressed. 
So am I! Oh wait, I forgot, I'm using sarcasm. Where's Chris Kennedy? Uh, I don't know about Chris Kennedy, but what I do know is this. Envy put in a great effort, but in the end, Molly Jinx comes out victorious. And Envy is going to end up getting a big scolding from Black Arachnia once they wants to go back to the locker room. Who cares about the the sphincter girls? No one cares about sphincters! Go away! Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back with more action here on MWE Satin. Don't go anywhere, or else you will miss it all. Correction, the Chris Kennedy Show! Would you stop? No.